Vladimir Putin talking about the fact that he has now, the country has now delivered uh, its first nuclear weapons to its neighbour Belarus, a move that clearly threatens to ratchet up tensions with the United States and its allies regarding the war in Ukraine. Let's get some more insights uh, from Bloomberg's national security reporter Nick Wadhams. Nick, how should we be reading this move? Well, I think it's a clear signal uh, to NATO in the context of the Ukraine invasion that uh, Vladimir Putin is to be taken very seriously. I mean, look, you know, Russia already has nuclear weapons in Kaliningrad, which is further west than Belarus. So it, it's not really something where he would in, uh, obtain any strategic or tactical advantage. But it's a warning shot across the bow as NATO, the U.S. and its allies uh, boost, you know, successively more powerful weapons systems for Ukraine to repel the Russian invasion. It's, it's a sign that he means business. So what does NATO do or the West do in relation to this? Well, it's a great question because, you know, NATO's whole uh, attitude all along has been we do not want this uh, Ukraine invasion to expand into a broader conflict, both in uh, in the former Soviet Union area, but also NATO more generally. So everything they have done has been uh, aimed at keeping this contained uh, to uh, the Ukraine area. So they've really discouraged Ukraine from attacks in yep. Russia and likewise have been very on the ball about trying to make sure that uh, Russian missiles and things like that don't fall anywhere else. So uh, they're going to be on the lookout for that and try to prevent this from spreading into something wider. Escalate to de-escalate has been part of Russian thinking regarding how you use nuclear weapons. Um, Kissinger was talking to Bloomberg a little earlier, talking about the fact that, that Vladimir Putin would struggle if Ukraine were to win. Nick, is, is that what we're setting up for here? Is that ultimately the direction that Vladimir Putin is pointing us in? Well, you know, there, there are a couple contextual things that are really important here. So on the one hand, the U.S. and other allies have really changed their own calculus on the risk of escalation. So we've been told by numerous administration officials that they essentially believe, you know, those concerns we had about escalation earlier that prevented us from sending some of those bigger weapon systems, we're not so worried about that anymore. So you've seen, you know, F-16s and other more advanced, you know, Abrams tanks and things like that flowing into Ukraine because they're not quite as worried. Now, you know, Ukraine obviously, or excuse me, Russia responds and says, okay, well, you guys said you're not worried about escalation. How about this? Uh, so it's really going to change uh, a lot of those conversations in Washington and in, in Europe, uh, trying to measure, you know, where this fits in and whether this is, in fact, the escalation that they were so worried about.